Hey there, welcome back to Pepper Geek. In today's video, we'll be giving you some tips for moving pepper plants outdoors. So it's that exciting time of year when our plants are eager to get outside and we can finally start transitioning them to the outdoors. And there are several things that we keep in mind when we're doing this to protect the plants and to make sure that they have the easiest time possible moving outside. But first, check out our ebook, Growing Perfect Peppers. It's all about how we grow lots of bountiful pepper plants every year. Our entire process of growing plants from seed to harvest and even some things you can do with fresh peppers. So check out our book in the description below. So the first thing to consider is when should you be moving your plants outdoors? And we've talked about this a little bit, but essentially we wait until the overnight temperatures are around 50 or 55 degrees Fahrenheit consistently. And that is usually a little bit after your last frost date. So it will depend on your location. For example, it's May here and we're already in the 80s and it's staying above 60 degrees Fahrenheit overnight. So it's a little bit early for us and hopefully we'll be able to move our plants out permanently a little bit before schedule. The transition outdoors can be stressful on your plants. So we recommend hardening off. We have a video all about hardening off. It's essentially getting the plants used to the outdoors elements like wind and direct sunlight and precipitation. And you want to do that gradually so you can learn more in our dedicated video but essentially you want to start on a cloudy day like today get the plants outside for maybe 30 minutes on the first day and then bring them back indoors and then do it a little bit longer the next day so maybe up to an hour on the second day and then two hours the day after that and so forth you also want to make sure you're hardening off in the location where the plants are going to be situated for the season so that you're not going from half sun to a full sun location suddenly and we typically start this at least two weeks before the plants are going to be outdoors permanently. So two weeks before that 50 to 55 degree overnight temperature mark is a good time to start hardening off. If you don't have a great location to harden off, one other tip is to use shade cloth. We have some shade cloth over our garden bed right now, and it provides a little bit of protection from those UV rays and can really help prevent sunburn on your young tender plants. Over time, you can peel back layers of the shade cloth and gradually adjust the plants to the sun that way instead. When you're moving your plants outdoors, it's also a great time to stake your plants. And we use these little bamboo sticks uh, for staking and you can use them for multiple years. Essentially on a plant like this, you'll just insert the stake an inch or so next to the stem vertically. And then over the course of the season, you can attach the plant with some garden Velcro to this stake and keep it upright it's really helpful this time of year when the plants aren't used to strong winds and it's good to get the stakes situated early before the plant is huge and it can be a lot more difficult to stake later on. Another tip, especially if you're planting in the ground, is to water thoroughly and make sure that the plants are getting enough water, but don't feed your plants too much at the same time. So you don't want to be fertilizing too much after transplanting. Uh, give the plants a few weeks to transition and start growing those roots out before you start fertilizing. Otherwise, you can encourage the plant to grow lots of foliage, but not develop a really big, strong root system. So you wanna let the plant search for some nutrients and expand that root system before you start feeding. Another tip is to protect your young plants from rabbits and deer and other pests that may be looking for a snack. When the plants are really small, they're especially vulnerable to this, and the rabbits can eat a plant down in a few bites when they're so small. So when they're hardening off, you want to elevate them off the ground. And if you're going directly into the ground in a ground bed or a raised bed, you'll need some sort of fencing if you have rabbits. And if you have deer, you really need a taller fence or you can use some deterrents. If you want to learn more about deterring these pests, we have a video on Geeky Greenhouse. Crystalline talks all about keeping your plants safe when they move outside. And our last tip is in the same vein, and that is to watch for pests early on. Springtime is the most active time for early pests like aphids and thrips. You're going to want to keep an eye out for those so you can detect that issue early and start dealing with it early on. We recommend companion planting with some flowers to attract those beneficial insects early on. But if you have a serious aphid infestation, you might need to intervene somehow. So it's always good to catch that early on and know what you have in your garden. Before you go, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Pepper Geek and also check out our other channel, Geeky Greenhouse, where we talk about other plants that aren't peppers. So if you're a gardener, that channel will be great for you as well. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.